Law number one in Gary Keller's Four Laws of Lead Generation is to build a database. Build a database. And it's important to have a database that's customizable to match your unique sphere of influence and track the most important information for you. Command is the only CRM that was built specifically around the millionaire real estate agent. Today, we're gonna learn about creating a custom field inside of contacts in Command. We're gonna get started with creating brand new custom fields for our contacts in Settings by clicking on our name in the top right-hand corner, and then choosing settings. Once you land on the settings page, we're gonna go straight to command settings, contacts, and then custom fields. Let's get started with creating a brand new custom field using that create custom field button in the top right hand corner. For this first one, I'm gonna create a custom field called kids and pets. What this lets me do is it lets me track the family makeup of any contact that I meet, if they have any children that I want to remember names or even potential pet names. For this custom field type, I'm going to choose text area. That's going to give me a free form, larger area where I can type all of this information in before saving on that contact. I'm also going to check off this box to make this a default custom field, meaning this is going to appear on every contact that I create in command and all of the existing contacts in my database. Then I can confirm with the create button in the bottom right hand corner. You might also want to track information on certain contact records, but not all of them. For example, one of the teams that I recently worked with does a pie giveaway around Thanksgiving time every fall. Well, they use a custom field inside of command to track what contacts they're not only giving pies to, but their preferred pie flavor. Let's click the create custom field button in the top right hand corner and make a field to track that. I'll go ahead and name this pie flavor. Then for my custom field type, we're going to choose the drop down option. Here, we're going to create a pre-populated list of options for each pie flavor that we could offer. Let's start with pumpkin. Then I can choose the add drop down option to add the second option, apple. And let's do one more add drop down option for cherry. Now, I'm not going to put this one as a default custom field, so we're going to only add this to specific contacts. We can confirm here with the create button in the bottom right hand corner. And then now let's go to contacts and see these custom fields in action. I'm going to create a brand new contact for my database using the add contact button in the top right. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the create button at the bottom of the screen here. Now that I'm in the contact record, I can simply click on this edit pencil icon and then choose add more information. All of your custom fields are going to appear right here in the bottom where you can expand this menu where I have my default custom field of kids and pets. They have a pet named Henry. Then I can also add those optional custom fields right here using this add custom field option. Here, a dropdown is going to appear with all of the custom fields you already have created from that screen inside of settings. Or you also have the option of creating a brand new custom field right here from the contact record. For today, we're going to go ahead and add in pie flavor and choose apple pie. Then I can click save. Just like when you're editing a contact, all of your custom fields are going to appear right here in their very own custom field section on the left hand side towards the bottom of that contact record. When you're back inside of the contacts table and you want to see those custom fields, you can even use the customize columns button right here and then add in the available columns, kids and pets, pie flavor, choose apply, and you'll actually see those right here inside of the contacts table view. Don't forget, whenever you're changing any of the columns that you have visible inside of that particular view, you always have the options of saving those changes within the smart view that you're currently using by clicking right here on save smart view changes. Now that you know how to create custom fields inside a command, let's wrap up the four laws of lead generation. One, build a database. Two, feed it every day. Three, communicate with it in a systematic way. And number four, service all the leads that come your way. I can't wait to see how you leverage custom fields to manage more relationships through command. All this talk about pie has me hungry for a snack. While I go grab one, don't forget to like and subscribe here to our channel. And why don't you check out one of these videos next?